Hello and welcome back to CS38 Racing and this is episode 13 of MotoGP Career Mode. So today let's check out our GP wall. If you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single episode here on the channel. Uh, it really means a lot to us when you like and subscribe and comment and engage with the videos. It is really awesome. It helps me know what sort of content you guys like seeing and being able to interact with my audience, so it's really cool. So Bastion is saying, C Racing is working hard. We need to close the gap before the season is jeopardized. Rins, at this point we've seen it all, but C Racing in Ducati would be an odd choice. Okay, so now we are at the Netherlands. We need to try and get ourselves ahead of Alicia Spargo in the points to get ourselves into the top five. But we've got a couple of season, uh, seasons, races coming up that we don't really like. Sachin Ring and Silverstone is two sort of circuits I'm not too fond of. Then we've got Austria, Aragon, Mazzano, and then the end of the season that I do like. Alright, so let's see what we can do down here at Assen. Let's see what the weather is going to be like. Okay, it's going to be dry. I was expecting it to be a, a bit wet, but that's all good. So we'll see you guys down on the track. Okay, so we're down here for qualifying and we've made it, managed to make it into that top 10 excellently there. <coughs> so we're trying to keep ourselves ahead of Alicia Spargo where possible. So we found a pretty good setup here. We're going to use soft, soft tires. Let's go for a run. So we've had okay feel, but it does take a little bit of... ...toing and froing. So let's see if we can get a good time in here. I'd be happy to start in the top seven, top eight. just sort of see if that is a time that we can, a position that we can obtain, because we really need to give ourselves the best chance of getting some solid points. Which is what we're really looking for now in the championship, is consistent placings. Consistency is the key to getting championship points, and that helps you get rides. Oh, we've had a big moment there in the change of direction. Definitely improve on that time. So we're up on our previous time. A bit deep there.
Had a better run through there this time round. Managed to go a little bit quicker there. Okay, let's see if... We're definitely not going to gain any time on this lap. Say that, we have managed to pull through a little bit. Oh, we got a long lap penalty for impeding. That was impeding. Ugh. Who did we hit there? Martin, sorry about that. Thought you guys were a lot further ahead. We're going to return to the pit anyway. Because... We're going to go out for another flyer. Oh wait, we didn't check. Was our bike damaged the director at all? Offering up Let's switch to bike B. And I'm going to go with a soft... The same soft tyres we were on. Let's go for another run out there. See if we can improve it all. We're down in 12th, so that's not what we want at all. Going wide here, can't pull that up. Oh, we managed to, but we lost so much time.
see if this gives us an improvement. Does a little bit, but not enough at this stage. And I think that's going to be it here. We run wide. So 12th place looks like the best we're going to be able to manage. It was really pushing on that last lap. But we seem to have lost it all in that... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Seem to have lost it all in that last sector. Um, so that's not good at all. We're really hoping to get ourselves into the top seven. But I guess we're not that far off it and we could probably make a good start and change a few outcomes in the race that way. Let's try and just run it out so... That's not the qualifying session we wanted. It definitely didn't work out the way we were hoping. But we've got work to do in the race, I suppose. Second MotoGP qualifying session also ends here. Okay, so we end in 12th with a 133.11. So we're quite a bit of the way off from the top. Alicia Spargo is fifth, so <laughs> we're not doing too well on that front either. Let's just see what we can do in the race. It's in grid where riders are trying to maintain their... Okay, so we're down here on the grid. We're going to go with soft soft. We've also got the long lap penalty that we have to factor in. Will... Let's just get this done. Take the penalty now. The Pekka Banyaya, he's had a really bad start here. Oh. Our teammate's giving us a good bump and barge there. Gaining any advantage here. Managed to make a move on the inside of Peko. Peko's diving back up on the inside. And whoa, and there's Bastianini on the outside. How the heck was that viable? I don't see Bastianini's rejoin as safe there. Is that Quadraro? Quadraro is down. I wonder if Bastianini is going to get a penalty for that. 
because we were well and truly on the inside. We were fighting off Pekko who was on our inside and then Bastianini just came in and just completely clattered. crash there. Oh, we got caught on the curve. Now we're trying to make up positions, but it feels a little futile at this point in the race. Oh, we're out wide, we're out wide. Bike is definitely not handling as well as we would like it to. to make a move on Quadraro here. No, he's closed the door. But we are able to get the cut back. We could dive on Fernandez there as well. Got Mir ahead of us now, and there is a bit of a train of riders here. So it could be possible we could get ourselves into some points. Possibly. Too deep, we're too deep, we're too deep. We're losing it all there, we're losing the drive on the straight as well. Back on the inside of Fernandez. What a good drive there, we're going to be able to get through on Mia.
a bit deep. I'm trying to go around the outside of Takanagagami there. It's stuck on the back wheel. Made a little bit of a lunge, we nerfed. Takagami wide there. Fair enough, a warning on that one. I think we're quite lucky to get away with a warning, but... So I don't know what that's going on about. Got along that penalty. What for? Okay. Taking the, the penalty here now, let's see if we can get ourselves back onto that battle. Tried to make a move from a long way back, it did not work out. That was a disappointing sprint race there for us. As the riders do their cool down. So that, unfortunately, that incident with Bastianini really affected our race. Um, and we didn't get any points there, so that's really bad. That puts us down, we're still in sixth in the championship, so we're a few points, it cost us a few points off us. Alicia Spargo jumps up, so... Bastianini is now our target. ...to maintain their concentration before the start of the race. Okay, so we're going to go with the soft soft strategy here. It's the best the we can do. We need to stay clear of Bastianini, considering our run-in with him at the sprint race. Hopefully we can just consolidate some good points. We've managed to get to the inside of Alicia Spargo there.
Okay, we've done okay through that section. A little bit wide here. Okay, let's see if we can settle into a rhythm. Whoa! Is that Martin? We're almost... Went down with him clipping the front there. Fourth would be a solid result here, so let's just see if we can maintain this pace. Too deep here, we're way too hot in there. We did do a pretty big cut there. Kind of got to a stage in this race, even though it's early on, where we just need to accept that we're not as fast, but we need the points for the championship. in our rhythm. Starting to build a bit more confidence now in the tyres and in how the bike is feeling on the track.
Definitely hit a bit more of a rhythm. Too hot, too hot, too hot. But we're gonna be okay with that. Don't want too many of those. So we're about halfway between ourselves and Martine and back to Bastianini and Aleish. How was that at track limits? I thought our tyres were still on the inside line. Either way, we can't do any more of those. So I think it's just time to lock in and just secure this fourth place. a little bit wide there that's going to give us a long lap penalty even though that was just an honest mistake I'm gonna to have to go for it So 
the gaps right down now to the two people we didn't want to be near. But hopefully... can pull out a bit of a gap on them. I've managed to pull out a gap on these two riders here. Oh, but we're deep. Okay, so we're really just trying to stay ahead of these guys now. So now it's just a couple more laps.
but we're going to lose the front there. So I backed right off. Got the gap back up to two seconds, so I think we should be okay. Barring any mistakes. Well, we're having big wobbles there, so we've lost a lot of time. Because of those mistakes, we've let Alicia Spar go straight back into contention. We're deep there. hear him in the headphones. Needing to be careful, we just need to defend the position. Able to just hold on to it there. Oh, thankfully, a solid result. Okay, so we managed to get some solid points there. A fourth place, I think, is a pretty good recovery considering our sprint race debacle. So now we're directly versing um, an A Bastianini. So we're Oh, no, no, sorry. We're 10 points off Bastianini, so we just need to keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away where we can um, and see what happens. So it puts us in fifth in the team championships, third overall in the constructors championship. Let's check our rewards. Finish at least 15th in the race, finish 15th in the sprint. We didn't get that because we got nerfed. Let's check. Yeah, let's just keep everything.
everything cordial. All right, if you like that one, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Make sure you don't miss a single episode here on the channel. Okay, stay safe, have fun. See you on the next one. Bye for now.